a city alive with the spirit of excitement and a stadium brimming with anticipation. The build-up has been intense and now we just can't wait for it all to begin. It's anyone's guess though, which team will come out on top? Where have you completely covered? The live action is next on EA TV. Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner as always is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. How's it going to go, Stuart? Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And a very good challenge. Difficult to stop him. Options in the centre. And he takes it on. Alan Velasco. Minch. So, deflection, and it will be a throw-in. Nuno Minj. Well, they need to get tighter. But a goal to update you on in the Wolves game. Alex Scott has the details. And it's a goal for Wolves. They've scored the opener with 16 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Larson with it, and foiled only by the crossbar. Well, no danger now. Ficayo Tomori. Alan Velasco. Well, the pass not finding its target. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Plenty of support here. Played into the box. There to take it away. Kazmarek. No way through. Now the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? <laughs> Playing it in. Fantastic technique! Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy, certainly no stopping that. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Alan Velasco. And providing width. Who can he pick out? And putting his body on the line. Great block again. with Coleman 
making progress. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Almost at half-time, it's going the way of the visitors as things stand. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Breaking at pace. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Diaby. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Absolutely nothing wrong with the idea, but no end product. And there goes the half-time whistle. That will do it for the first half here at Villa Park. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here, but quick thinking defensively. Going well. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Aston Villa facing Brentford. It needs an accurate cross. Shot attempted. Determined defending. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Let's see about the delivery. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Well, you could see what he was trying, but too much height on the shot. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And not cleared away properly. And held by the keeper at the second time of asking. Well, he's just pulled off a great first save there. Now they can all calm down. Well, there you go. Just look at those stats. They've certainly got forward enough, but the finishing has been pretty woeful. You just wonder if they're going to regret this come the end of the game. Oh, hang on, Stuart, look at this! And able to get a body in the way. Coming off the pitch. And a substitution in the offing. To be replaced by number eight, Felix Nemechi. Over it comes. Splendid defending. Happy birthday to Nathan Walker celebrating his birthday today from Dad and, and don't forget we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's FC Cincinnati taking on Newcastle United. Good distribution. Did well to clear it away. of guile with regard to that cross goalkeeper's ball on the offensive oh great attacking play 
can he finish? Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And they're making a change. Playing it in. Not really the ideal clearance. Cronin. Dangerous ball. It was on its way in. Nuno Mensch and goal news to bring you from the Wolves game here's Alex it's a goal from Manchester City it's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 82 minutes played many thanks as ever Alex Alves Alcaraz Crossbar got in the way. Can he finish? Stopped a surefire goal. Not covering up defensively. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. Here it is now, a substitution. Delivering it. And a really smart stop. An important one to keep them in with a chance. Well, that probably would have been it. That's such a vital save from the keeper. Well, lacking just a little bit of accuracy. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. This is looking threatening. Good use of advantage. Atkins. Shot attempted. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer, and Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, he was a real nuisance today. He always looked a threat, and of course he got the winner. He was probably the difference between the two teams.